Hello everyone. This is the next addition to my vintage Macintosh collection. This is a Macintosh Performa 630 CD that I just received in the mail today in a very big heavy box and I was able to clean off the space on a table and set it up for us so that we could do a video and do a little bit of exploring of this machine on YouTube. This is actually a very cl very clean, a very nice machine and just wanted to take a moment to have a look at the back, at the ports in the back. We have our power port, ADB ports, printer ports, and our monitor port. So it's very simple in the back. And it has a CD-ROM drive as well as a three and a half inch floppy disk drive and a nice clean working monitor as we can see hopefully this is indeed a Macintosh Performance 630 CD it's the one that I purchased on eBay just a few days ago where the claim was made that this computer actually was featured in the movie Welcome to Macintosh a certificate of authenticity was supposed to be coming with this machine but there was no certificate of authenticity in the box that I could find. So I've sent a message to the seller asking, where is it in the box I need to look, or do you still have it? Are you sending it in a separate package, et cetera, et cetera. Hopefully one will materialize. I'll look in the box a little bit more carefully later on. In the meantime, I thought that we would go ahead and set this uh, computer up, do a quick video of it, do a little bit of exploration of it. This uh, 630 CD is powered by this button right here. It actually boots up very quickly, which is a wonderful thing. It is a color monitor, and it boots into System 7.5. And there is software on the computer, which is wonderful. No documents, but there is some productivity software and other software that is available for me to use on this as it is right now. Okay, so about this Macintosh, what we have is a Macintosh Performa 630CD system software 7.5, built-in memory of 20 megabytes, total memory is 65 and a half megabytes, the system software is using 3 megabytes. Also, on our hard drive here, information about the hard drive shows that it is uh, a 163.8 megabytes are available on the disk and uh, let's see here there are 1,499 items written on the disk so it looks like it's about 165 170 megabyte hard drive uh, it was created in 2001 it was modified by me uh, just today when I reset the clock. So, oops, tilt it up a little bit there. So, there's that information. We go to applications here. And what we have is a 630 series multimedia options folder, which has uh, some interesting looking icons in it. I haven't really opened all of these, so I have no idea what I'm going to be getting here. Looks like a slideshow. That's pretty cool. Copyright 1994 Apple Computer Inc. All rights reserved. So this is something that came out and 1994. 
We have our dictionary, and we have Claris Works, which is our productivity suite. So we could open Claris Works. We could go right into a word processor, and it should give me a blank page. We test the keyboard. Shift key action there works just fine. We could go ahead and uh, close and not save anything. Uh, we've got Claris Works Tour, so we try and see what that's going to give us here. Virtual memory is turned on to run this Performer product. You must turn off. I'm not going to bother with that, so we won't be going through that. Uh, crossword wizard. It looks like that's some kind of a game. And it actually speaks. So, I'm going to start a new game. Um, iPad slipped out of my hand. Jeez. Okay. E World 1 folder. Not sure what E World 1 is. me to do something or other. I'm going to tr just uh, close. Let's see how many apps I've got open. All of these apps are open right now. Um, we've got Quicken. Which is clean copy. So and uh, Spectre Challenger, not sure what that's about. Spin Doctor, not sure what that's about either. The Writing Center, so that looks like some kind of like uh, a program for authors or something, or well, no, maybe it's just a school thing. Pretty decent sound for a 94, 1994 computer. So, and there's Click Art. And let's see the animals, the bunny that should give us some kind of a picture. Yep. Okay, good. Quit. And thinking things. Not sure what that's about. So there's a little bit of software already preloaded on this machine. No real games like Missile Command or anything like that, but uh, it looks like it was an education computer that kind of made it out of a school unscathed because it's got very little yellowing, hardly any scratches. It's in really, really good condition. And uh, I was a little worried because the box was kind of banged up, but uh, they padded it up really, really well. And no complaints, except for the certificate of authenticity, which is uh, missing, missing in action right now. So. Right. Looks like we got some more folders down here. Mod modem information, MacLink Plus information, Performer README, and it's only a README, so you can't edit it. That's what that was about. So I guess I should read that before I use the computer. Yeah, right. That's going to happen. So that pretty much sums up what's on the computer there. We've got uh, a few of these things that are open. We'll close those. The world is open. We will close that as well. So that's it for now. Uh, I might be on the lookout for some software, game software, to install on this. Some old, old games. I used to have some of that software, but I don't anymore, so I'll need to replace it if I plan to use this computer for that at all. But mostly, once I get the certificate of authenticity, it's just going to sit here on display pretty much. Uh, so that is the Macintosh Performa 630 CD computer. Very, very clean, very, very nice machine. The next Mac will be this one. 
a vintage Apple Macintosh LC desktop with mic and keyboard and there is a monitor included in this as well so it is a uh, original LC has a mic on the side it's in excellent condition fully tested and it works great and it's guaranteed to your satisfaction so it doesn't make it clear whether or not the monitor is actually included with the machine but all of the photographs and they dedicate specific photographs to the monitor by itself makes leads me to believe that indeed it is and the shipping charges are high enough to make, lead me to believe that it is as well so uh, it says the computer is in your mint condition very light scratches not anything that is noticeable very well taken care of it's been tested it works great so that one should be on its way and we're looking forward to uh, getting that one in the very near future setting it up right next to the 630 CD doing a video on that as well so that will probably be be next and the other one that I owe you is the iBook G4 which is what I've been using to surf eBay lately so there you have it next edition to my Mac vintage Mac collection Performa 630 CD and we'll probably be revisiting this once some other items arrive for it Thanks for watching.